Good afternoon, I'm Pia Ontiveros and you're watching Solar News' special coverage of the historic signing of the framework agreement between the government and the Mora Islamic Liberation Front. There are a few hundred guests uh, who are inside the jam-packed Rizal Hall in Malacanang to witness the signing of the framework agreement on the Bang Samoro. Government officials led by President Aquino and his cabinet, both the government and the MILF peace panels, Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak, MILF leaders, women in beautiful traditional Muslim garb, civil society, Society, peace ambassadors from show business. There was a luncheon held before this where the Malaysian Prime Minister praised President Aquino and the MILF leadership and urged everyone to stay the course. Security was extremely tight. Everyone uh, was waiting patiently to get in. An interfaith prayer uh, is about to be said in a little while. Let's go now to Malacanang, where the signing of that framework agreement is going to take place. We have our Malacanang correspondent, Ina Andolong, on the line to give us the details. Ina. That's right, I'm here inside the Rizal Hall, where guests who will be witnessing the signing of the framework agreement with the MILF will begin any minute now. We're just waiting for President Aquino to enter the Rizal Hall, along with Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak. As we know, uh, easily, there are over 500 guests here, of course, many of them are members of the MILF, led by their chairman, Al-Hajj Murad, who, according to the program, will be delivering a speech later. And just to give you an idea of what's going to happen after the uh, interface invocation, the welcoming remarks will be delivered by presidential advisor on the peace process, Teresita Zelis. MILF chairman, Al-Hajj Murad, will then deliver a speech, followed by Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak. And then the uh, president will be delivering the keynote speech. The signing will be at the end. And then the presentation of the signed framework agreement to President Aquino and uh, MILF chairman Al-Hajj Murad will uh, end the program later. Yeah, uh, the president just uh, entered the Rizal Hall. <laughs> Please remain standing for the Philippine National Anthem. Ay ang magiliw pero sa silanganan Alam ng puso sa titig mo'y buhay Lupang hinirang duyan ka ng magiting Sa manluluti di ka pasisiyo Sa dagat at bundok, sa siboy at sa langit mong bukaw May dilagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal Ang kisap ng wataw at mo'y tagumpay na nagniningning Ang bituin at araw niya kailan pa may di magdidilim Lupa ng araw na luwalak at pagsinta Ligaya na pag may mga api Ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo Please remain standing. May we call on Sheikh Abdul Haraira Abdurrahman for the Islamic invocation or the dua. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, Al-Fatiha. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahmanir rahim. Malik yawmiddin. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. Hudina sirat al-mustaqim. Sirat al-lazina an'amta alayhim ghayri al-mazubi alayhim wal-abdhalin. Amin. اللهم إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك 
اللهم إن البيئة التي نعيشها اليوم مليئة بألوان من العراقل والعقبات محفوفة بضروب من الفتن والتحديات فوفقنا لهدايتك وعنايتك ورعايتك واهدنا إلى صراط مستقيم اللهم حبب إلينا الإيمان وزينه في قلوبنا وكره إلينا الكفر والفسوق والعصيان واجعلنا من الراشدين اللهم وحب بين صفوفنا وأصلح ذات بيننا وتجاوز عنا سيئاتنا يا باسط اليدين بالعطية We beseech you almighty Allah of your all embracing benevolence on this historical occasion on the signing of the framework agreement on the Bang Samoro. O Almighty Allah, we gathered here raising our hands, invo invoking your blessing. So provide us strength, make our steps firm and strong towards practical unity, solidarity, and integrity. O Almighty Allah, guide us towards understanding and harmony. Lay not on us burden beyond our capacity to bear. Blot out our sins. Forgive us if we forget or fall into error. O God of mercy and love. Amen. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa qina adab al-nar. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May we now call on Most Reverend Antonio Javiliana Ledesma from the Society of Jesus to lead us in Christian prayer. Almighty and loving God, creator of all things and source of all life, we invoke your presence in our midst as we gather today to witness the signing of a framework agreement that ultimately involves the minds and hearts of all peace-loving peoples in Mindanao and the Philippines. Enlighten our minds and strengthen our resolve to work for peace in our communities. Help us to strive for sincerity, to overcome the atmosphere of mistrust in our dealings with one another. Help us to ensure security, to counter the proliferation of firearms and armed groups in our midst. Help us to grow in sensitivity, that we may appreciate the richness of diverse cultures and religious traditions. Help us to work for solidarity, to bring about a sense of oneness and common purpose for the tri-people population of Mindanao. More profoundly, help us to deepen our spirituality, to enable Muslims, Christians, and indigenous people to live together in harmony and religious freedom. Finally, help us to work for sustainability so that our social institutions may be harnessed to help bring about a just and lasting peace for all. Relying on your wisdom and compassion, Almighty God, may we, your lowly creatures whom you have called to your kingdom, be your channels today for reconciliation and the building of a culture of peace in Mindanao and throughout our country. We make this prayer in your name. Amen. Please be seated. Today we are here to witness a significant milestone in the quest for peace, a day that both the Filipino nation and the international community have long awaited. To formally welcome us to this, today's ceremony and to share to us her thoughts 
about the signing of this framework agreement. Let me introduce Presidential Advisor on the Peace Process, Secretary Teresita Quintos Deles. His Excellency, our President Benigno Simeon Aquino III, to our esteemed guests, His Excellency, Prime Minister Dato Sri Mohammed Najib Bintun Abdul Razak of Malaysia, His Excellency, Secretary General Ekmeledin Isanoglu of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, Chairman Al Haj Murad, Chair of the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, the chairs and members of the peace negotiating panels of the Government of the Philippines and of the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, the Honorable Tengku Datu Ab Jafar Tengku Mohammed, our Malaysian facilitator in the GPH MILF peace negotiations, members of the diplomatic corps fellow members of the cabinet, Senate President Enrile and Speaker Belmonte, and members of Congress, our partners and friends in peacemaking and peace building from the civil society organizations, the private sector, the local government units, our grassroots communities, the international community. To everyone in this jam-packed room, good afternoon, magandang hapon po, assalamu alaikum. Thank you for being with us today, and welcome to the signing ceremony of the Framework Agreement on the Bangsamoro. I am deeply honored and overjoyed to be in this place at this time, in this moment. And somewhere in Mindanao, a girl named Salama also shares our joy today. She was in grade school in the town of Kabuntalan, Maguindanao, when one day in August 2008, the first sounds of gunfire broke out as military and rebel forces engaged in battle. Salama tells the story of that afternoon. I was so scared that I cried. Our teacher yelled at us, telling us to take cover, but we wanted to go home because we were worried about our parents and siblings. I was a grade three pupil then. I had to stop my schooling because of the war. Another story. When 13-year-old Reina Marie Doria of Coronadal City learned about our framework agreement, she said, I received this no news with joy, especially for us who may be the ones to experience the fruits of the peace process. One of our peace ambassadors, famous Filipino-American singer Apple the App of the Black Eyed Peas, when told about the framework agreement said, this is great news. I want to be involved. I want to build a school in Basilan and donate books to the children. These stories tell us how a beautiful morning has dawned after Salama's nightmare. And I am in awe of how many more mornings like this we can all wake up to.